Hi everybody, welcome back with another video by Kurchit and in today's video we are, going to, we are going to see like how you can build an AI chatbot by using Flowwise AI. So how it's gonna work like so we have a text form, format data. Basically we have a data in a text format where we have stored like a Q&A sort of thing, a question and answering like it's a basically a customer support data and uh, that we are going to vectorize using uh, OpenAI embedding. We will we will take that data we will convert it into vector embeddings and then we will store it inside our uh, pinecone pinecone is basically a vector database uh, that is used to store vector embeddings okay and once we have that uh, then what we will do like we will simply um, use that uh, vectorized embedding every single time to find the closest match uh, from the document and once we found that document we will simply use it as a context uh, so that uh, our chatbot uh, AI chatbot will be able to answer the question uh, by querying data from uh, documents like a text text document or PDF document whatever you wanna have and the best part is, is like uh, we are not going to write a single line of code we are going to do entire thing uh, just by connecting dots as you can see here okay so we are going to just connect dots and uh, after that you'll be able to build that so that's what we are going to do so if this sounds good to you then watch this video till the end and you will have a better understanding of how you can build this chatbot that is trained first of all not it's not a train sorry to sorry i mispronounced it uh, it's not a train here you're basically um, vectorizing data and then using it as a context uh, in each single user prompt okay so it's uh, different than fine tuning and training the data okay so never be confused with that so yeah that's what we are going to do in this video so uh, watch this video till the end and you will have a better understanding of how you can do that okay so we are going to use this uh, database uh, like a vector database called pinecone and uh, what we will do here like we will use this database to store our vector embeddings created through uh, open ai embeddings okay and we will use this database to retrieve our embeddings as well so that's what we're going to use so if you don't know uh, about this if you if you don't have an account on this platform then just go ahead and create one and it's totally free uh, right now as you start but uh, later as you go uh, you can go for like a paid one if you want but uh, for this video uh, we don't need any paid account okay so i'm going to use like a free one right now so just click on the create index and here name uh, your index okay whatever you want to name it let me name it like a code shit vector and uh, here it, it is asking for like uh, dimensions uh, here you are supposed to enter the dimensions of your vector at which it was created okay so basically when you create a vector embeddings using an open AI then it basically uses 1536 dimension so you can enter that and here choose the smallest one either that is free and hit on this create index button now it will take some time and it will and after that your pod will be ready okay we basically call here a pod we, we call this thing a pod here now uh here uh, i'm going to, let's create uh, our flow basically inside of flow wise okay how it's gonna work so I'm, I'm going to add like a new flow so here what we need our uh, first thing that we need is like a conversational agent uh it they already have this something like this like a conversational retrieval qa chain so this chain helps you to basically build on uh, that uh, document q a sort of thing where uh it needs three things basically yeah. if you'll take a look at take a take a look at this the first thing is like a language model itself where we can use like our open ai thing chat open ai okay we can use this one this we can use this model for this node like let me just connect this right now and uh, after that it is asking for vector store retriever okay uh, so inside a vector restore retriever we are going to opt for pine cone even in pine cone you will see like a two different things like the one is like a pine code load existing in existing index 
which means let's say uh, you have already trained not a train if you have already vectorized a certain amount of data in your into your vector into your pine cone then you can just use that index okay but if you want to upload a document from here and then want to use that document uh, to do so you can use the second one which is like a pine cone absurd document okay and let me connect this one as well okay fine and uh, after that uh, it is asking for credentials here you can see so let me enter my open ai credentials if you don't know like how to enter that like you can watch my previous previous videos i've already explained how can you get these uh, open ai key and uh, for this pine cone uh, i'm going to use my pine cone api key i'm going to show you like uh, how you can create that and here you have to enter your index name of your pine cone okay that you want to use for example we have like this thing my index name is like a code sheet vector so that's what i'm going to use okay and uh, yeah i think uh yeah for like a pine cone api if you want to know how to get that here inside your pine cone dashboard you will see a section with the name called uh, api keys here just go here and create one api key and you can use that okay so that's how that's how easy it is and after that uh, it is asking for like a pine cone absurd document is asking for two different things the first one is document and the second one then second one is embeddings the document is basically the place where you will be uploading uh, your document that you want to vectorize that you want to ve that you want to create a vector embedding so okay so txt text that ah, text file so this is the doc this is the document loader that i'm going to use it's because i have a, like a text file that's why i'm using this one but if you have a pdf file or document docs file or whatever you have you can use that okay so i'm just gonna link it right now it's like with this document thing and after that uh you need to add one embeddings like uh, how like pine like how your agent is going to convert things into vector embeddings for that you need a sort of a service okay so we are going to use like a open ai embedding they provide it already so like open ai embedding and believe me it's very very cheap uh, so you don't have to worry about like uh, about it too much so let me just use my open ai key here and connect it with this embeddings okay so that's how uh, I think everything is ready now uh, only one thing we need to make sure let me just add like a text plater here for that i'm going to use recursive text plater recursive character text plater so what it does let me explain you so first of all what happens so basically what happens like whenever you upload a text file uh, there is a chance like uh, it can be of like you know the thousand uh, page thousand of pages and you don't want uh, all of that uh, data should be convert it into one single vector embeddings right so that's why first of all what you do you convert it into chunks and then those chunks will be vectorized uh, rather okay so that's what it is so i'm going to uh, set the chunk size like a 20 200 and the chunk overlap is 20. so chunk size is 200 and the chunk overlap is 20. so what does it mean so basically whatever the text file you will uh, enter here it's going to convert that entire document into like a uh, multiple documents at uh, 200 chunks of 200 chunks and uh, then it will basically convert those chunks into vector embeddings and it will store that so that's how it works uh, now let's just connect it with our text file okay and i think now it's ready to be ready to use to be honest so first of all let me show you like so let me show you like uh, what we are going to uh vectorize okay what data we are going to vectorize and then i will show you how it works okay so we are going to use this data uh, this txt file here you can see like we have uh, data which is in like a QA format, like you know, like the people, like the user has asked question, and then we have give, then we give an answer. So it's like a, right now it's just a mock data which I created, you know, by assumption. But you can have a, like a real data that you wanna uh, vectorized here. 
that you want to convert in, into vector in buildings basically so uh, here i also added like this thing which we are going to test like uh, how can i contact you guys so basically to contact us use our mail at coachit at the gmail.com which doesn't exist to be honest okay so that's what we are going to do and uh, let me just upload this file here first mm, this uh, inside our desktop uh, i'm going to use this data.txt file okay and uh, now let me just save this thing uh, we will call it like a code bot or something like that and once you click on a save button now just click on the save button and uh, initiate your chatbot now what i'm going to ask like uh, how can i reach out to you guys this is sort of a similar uh, query you know like uh, the one i showed when i just showed you you know the con contact related things so let's just ask it so you can see here you can see like the, to reach out to us you can send an email to coach you at the gmail.com or give us a call at this one so which means it has converted it converted this entire thing entire document into vector embeddings and then it is using it as a context uh, if you want to take a closer look at this uh, let me show you uh, you can enable this one so it will also show you like you know which section of the document it is using so for now let me just save it and let me ask the same question again how can i reach out to you guys okay so to contact us uh, you can use our mail at coachir at the, the gmail.com or give us a call at this 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 and here you can see like uh, this is using this only this part okay it is using only this part like how can I contact you guys and all and if you'll take a closer look at your pinecone dashboard inside your index then you will see like uh, now there will be like a lot of uh, vector embeddings okay so one two three four five six and all so that's how you can build an AI chatbot that is that uses uh, vector embeddings to answer its question so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the bell icon subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video but yeah before i go let me also show you like how you can use this chatbot so there are like a multiple ways of doing though doing so the first way is like if you want to use it as an endpoint you can do that as well and just grab this one and uh, form a data payload and you can get a response from this chatbot and uh, one of the easiest way of doing this would be like uh, using an embed just go at any website that you have you know and inside a body script inside a html or inside a footer section just add this script thing and after that it will be available for everybody okay so that's how you can use this thing so yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next video